Hey, what is up, guys? It is Tema Cookie here today, and I'm really glad to be bringing you guys another video. And it's been more than three weeks. Can you believe that? I am not. I just cannot believe that it's been more than three weeks. It just doesn't feel like it. But yeah, guys, I'm finally bringing you guys some more content to enjoy, and this is actually a tutorial on how to transfer music from your iPhone onto your PC. Now, uh, I haven't given you guys a reason why I wasn't absent for three weeks. Well, I've just been piled up with homework, and I couldn't find any good content to actually provide to you guys, my audience. Uh, so, I just decided not to post anything until something good came along, which it finally did. And I've been looking for this for a long time. I've been looking for a way to transfer music from your iPhone to your PC for some time now, so I could put it on a USB and then uh, put it on my PlayStation. And finally the time has arrived and I figured out a method on how to do it, which makes me really happy. So this is a great this is great news for me and I really hope this can help you guys. Um so anyways guys you will need one application for this and this is a free application and it's also not iTunes, it's actually called iFunbox. Now for the people that don't know what iFunbox is, it's basically like a file manager, you can explore your devices files and things like that you can manage this app data you know you can go through pictures and whatever you know the general storage and things like that uh there's a lot of things on here so what you just need to do i'm just going to show you guys a tutorial you just want to search up on google you want to search up ifunbox and you want to click on the first link that pops up which is actually going to be ifunbox for windows and it's the official ifunbox.com so you want to click on that, and then you want to click on this link that says version 2.494 beta, and click download. And then you'll see iFunbox version 2.94, which is the current version of the iFunbox as I'm making this video. You just want to click on the EXE, and then it will take you to a download link and things like that, and it will just kind of just save it onto your laptop. You have to go through the setup process, and that's all. So anyways, once that is done, you're going to have iFunbox on your desktop. You just want to open that sucker up. And once you're here, you should be prompted on a, you should be placed on a welcome page, which is standard. And anyways, after that, you want to click on quick toolbox. And as you can see, you have advanced, you have the terminals, and you have import files and data. You also have export files and data. So you want what you want to do is actually click on export files and data and click on iPod Music here. So you don't actually have to click on this. You just want to click on iPod Music in the export files and data tab. So once you click that, you will need to select a folder where you want to put your music. So personally, I like having everything on my desktop. It just makes it much easier to find. And as you can see, I have a folder already with the music, but I'm just going to do another folder. Uh, test music. I'm going to click save and now you just want to make sure your device is also unlocked guys just in case because sometimes you know it doesn't work when it's locked. You just want to click save and as you can see it does, it does like I said it was locked but now uh, it's going to download everything and it will download some of your deleted songs but it just won't be able to play or anything it'll only be like a gigabyte so don't worry about it guys, it won't take up any space at all pretty much. So as you can see guys, I have 77 files, so like more than a gigabyte of music. And oh my god, what the hell, no, 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 no. Alright, this is not what's supposed to happen guys. Uh, so I thought I put this on my desktop, but uh, on a folder, but it didn't work. So anyways guys, you guys get kind of get the point, right? Um, the musical transfer you can just put on USB and then it's done. But anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video other than this messed up tutorial. I've tried like 15 times to get it right and I just couldn't. But uh, <laughs> I just really hope this is fine for you guys. You guys get the point, so that's all that's actually required. Anyways guys, I'll see you next time when I find some good content to upload. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment on what do you think I can do to improve. Anyways guys, Tim and Cookie out.